The tension is palpable and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. Arsenal and Chelsea, who took part in the very first Football League First Division match between two London clubs, that was back in 1907 in front of 65,000. They're about to meet here at the Emirates. I'm Derek Ray on the gantry and Stuart Robson is next to me. Stuart, this ought to be special. Well, it should be, Derek. It's a rivalry that's really grown in recent times, but one that has provided some excellent games. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint today. Still alive. Well, thank goodness for the goalkeeper. Well, they're calm now, but that initial save was absolutely magnificent. And so they start a 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Yeah, and I think he's got that absolutely right. You don't want to be throwing cards about left, right and centre. Deep delivery, but keeper's ball, they'll be disappointed with that delivery. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Now, who can he pick out? Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Well, it's always a delight to watch Bukayo Saka in action. We have that privilege today. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Needs to tread carefully. Martin Odegaard. He has teammates around him. And Chelsea winning the ball again. A reminder that the stadium is a family-friendly environment and only soft drinks can be taken down. Jackson on the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And they might forge ahead. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. This could be troublesome. And did just enough defensively. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Great vision to switch the play. Arsenal have given it away. Palmer. Fernandes. Gabriel. It's with Erdogan. Saka. 
Rice. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. And a strong tackle. Martinelli. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Jackson. He's in with a chance. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, he has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Fernandez. Palmer. Oh, fine stop. Caicedo. But he's certainly not alone. Great opportunity. And a goal. An end to end game. And they weren't behind for long. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Ben White. Martin Odegaard. Marcel get the advantage from the referee. Martinelli. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Fernandez. And playing it through. He might be able to make it through. Sterling. What a block! Gabriel Martinelli and here's Saliba an encouraging Arsenal move but they dealt with the threat first Palmer with it Conor Gallagher trying to open them up and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. And there's the delivery. Electing to cross into the centre. And cleared away. Oh, he looks threatening. It should be. And still danger here. Sterling. Chelsea's corner as they try to take the lead here. Can he deliver it with accuracy?
Axel Di Sassi. And he takes us on. Determined defending. So half time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. And the second half has begun here in North London. Havertz. And a decent save. Full credit. Who's going to get on the end of it? And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And he's fired over the corner. Half-hearted clearance. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And the header from Havertz is brilliant. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to be in the box. That's a top-class header. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Sterling. And Chelsea looking dangerous. It's looking promising. Can he take advantage? And just over the bar, really good effort. Saka. Really good strong tackle and it'll be a throw in. Declan Rice. Martinelli. No high quality defending. Chilwell. Enzo Fernandez. And ball back with Arsenal now. Martinelli. Enzo Fernandez. 30 minutes to go then. Malo Gusto. Moises Caicedo. Conor Gallagher. And defensive play to be applauded. Martin Odegaard. Rice with it. Beautifully weighted ball. And a very good challenge. Zinchenko is it going to be 
My goodness, that save. What a stretch he was. One for his own highlight reel. So the corner played into the box. Oh, disappointing clearance. Shot attempted. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Ben White. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Enzo Fernandez. Sterling. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. And the play stopped. They will make the change now. The delivery towards the back post. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Ben White. And back with David Raya. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Fifteen minutes left for play. Jackson. Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. Bukayo Saka. And back with Trossard. Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it all. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Sterling. Oh, he's blocked it. Interception to snuff out the danger. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Martin Odegaard. It's with Gabriel. Jorginho. Rice with it. Trossard. It's got to be. Chance maybe. And clears the danger. I would like to say the keepers kept them in this game, but I can't see them getting back into this one. And a substitution in the offing. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. Gabriel. Intercepting it intelligently. Sterling. Now in possession, Trossard. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Rice. And fired against the crossbar. Well, nothing comes of it.
Martin Erdegaard. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Rice being egged on by the crowd. Oh, fine stop. Short corner favour. Sends it back. Simple catch, really. Jesus. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today, but he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding.